राधे As I said, any kind of yagas, fasting, reading, no ritualistic practices can bind the Lord. All he wants is a cry, like a little child. <clears throat> when the child cries, the mother is there for the child. <clears throat> so we are all children who are lost in this world. This, what you could say, Mela kehte hai na Hindi mein. That's what this world is. And we are lost in it. It's all so attractive. So many toys all around in the world. And we are all running towards those toys which are outwardly give happiness. Internally, it's a suffering. <clears throat> Nothing will give us happiness. So these tears, they purify the mind and they also bind the Lord. That's what is something that Sri Krishna cannot, cannot stay away from. Anybody who sheds tears, he also sheds tears. So what am I going to garland you with? No need of flowers or diamonds or gold, nothing. He wants a garland of tears. Drig asuvanaso poya haranit. How can you make a garland of tears? It's easy. How? Because Sri Krishna resides within us. As he says, Ishvara Sarva Bhutanam Hriddeshi I reside in the heart of every being. Now when a devotee sheds tears, the tears go down the cheeks. And they, when they go down, they literally form like from both the sides. It's like a garland going around Sri Krishna. So I'm going to garland you every day with my tears of love. And Lalita Tribhanga Ananga Vimohan, your beautiful form, which is far more attractive than millions of cupids, is a personification of beauty, Sri Krishna. Sumirat Atho Yam. I said three kinds of bhakti. The most important is Smaran Bhakti. Smaran, Smaran means contemplation, meditation with the mind. So I'm going to meditate upon your all attractive form. And Rasana So Nishivasara Chinna Chinna. And with my tongue, now we come to chanting. So with my tongue, I'm going to constantly, ceaselessly, Sing your name, your glories, your pastimes. We've got a wide area. So <clears throat> it's all about diverting the mind. Rise in love. As Vivekanan says, Bhakti is love for the highest and the lowest will fall away by itself. You'll find it all insignificant. Once we have a glimpse, once we taste the joy, of that spiritual happiness. Everything else in the material world will seem pale before that. Just like in the noonday sun, if you light a candle, you'd barely be able to see the flame. That sun is so bright. In the same way, every material joy, no matter how great it is from when we thought about it before, you may be the king, but everything is pale in comparison to that divine joy. So, Shravana Sunat Nit Priyatama Charicha Sudha Madhur Madhuna. We have sense organs, right? Eyes, ears, tongue. Why not use them? The mind needs help, you see. If we try to just silently sit down, we often find until we've got, we achieve practice through lifetimes for focus. Otherwise, the usual story, 
a hundred things, my child, the food, the house, my work, the mind is running everywhere. So therefore, we can take the sense organs to help us, the eyes, the ears. So the eyes are shedding tears, the ears are listening to his pastimes, etc. And his divine name. Divine name is nectar and bliss. Blissful nectar. Why? Because Sri Krishna himself resides in his name. It's not an ordinary name. He himself. He is bliss. That name is also same. Binatvan Namanamino. It's because right now the mind is impure. And each of us tastes the nectar of this name according to the degree of purity we have achieved through spiritual practice. The name is the same. The name which Meera took is the same which we are chanting. The name which Tulsidas took, that's the same we are chanting. All these saints took the same name. But because they had attained that purity, so that name, you must have heard, um, Bhanga Bhanga Dhatura Ganjara Uttar Jat Parvat Nam Kumari The intoxication of the divine name Guru Nanak Dev is saying It remains with me day and night What an intoxication It's available and free You don't have to be Bathing and sitting in an upright posture or going to the temple anywhere and everywhere, anytime. It's available. And the more we chant it, the more we will be able to tap that bliss which is inherent in the name. So Sudha Madhu, with my ears I listen to that. Talk of the divine, his pastimes, his names. So for some time we have to be focused. The growing plant of devotion needs to be protected. Protected from the onslaughts from the world. All the time there are onslaughts. The attraction of the world, the attachments of the world, they're all pulling us. So till the mind gets to a state that it's not distracted, we need to concentrate it. I'm not going to waste my time listening to Idle talk. Iski baat, uski baat, wo aisa hai, wo waisi hai. We sit and enjoy that. And then we talk about this, about work, about other things. People who have dogs will discuss their dogs. People who have little children, newborn children. My child is, did this today. My child did that today. So this is what goes on. Every moment we have. We should remember this. So at least gradually we will try to uh, select what is going to help our spiritual progress and avoid things that are going to take us away from it. Then it becomes a natural part of you. How natural? When you are eating food and stone comes into your mouth, what do you do? No, you just take it out. Kabhi to kuch log to bade aagni log thali hata dete hai. Lao dusra ye koi khana wana hai, baal nikla hai yaan pe. Ab kuch log kya karenge? Moon mein patthara ya nikal diya bas. So then all these material things, because we have got, we have tasted the sweetness of the divine, then all these material talk and irrelevant things, they will be like that stone, you just don't want it. You don't want to listen to it, it doesn't appeal to you at all. You will avoid it. So who's Sri Krishna who descended, we belong to him, he belongs to us. That's the total, you could say, gist of the scriptures. The scriptures are telling you only this. People may write big, big commentaries, pages and pages, books and books. What is it about? I am a soul, I belong to you. I'm a divine entity, we are all parts of him. And we are seeking him. The happiness that we seek is actually, we are seeking him without knowing it. So the simple, simple truth of the scriptures is just this much. The procedure has been mentioned in a gist over here. That's all we need to know and do. And also, I belong to him and he belongs to me. That's the totality of it. <laughs>
Thank you. 
Nobody can protect anybody from old age. Nobody can stop death coming to us. No. But there, he whom we belong to, as I said, today the sixth day, Sri Krishna revealed how merciful, causelessly merciful his nature is, that one who came to kill him, Bhutana, he sent it directly to his own divine abode. Think of what happens in the world. If somebody says something to you, or even if your own mind, mind tells you that that person did this thing to me, or this person is responsible, or somebody whispers something wrong. You know, this is what happens in the world. All these misunderstandings, these assumptions and all that, and that really disturbs us. A person who has been saying really mean things about you and you know about it. Can you be loving to that person and merciful? It's bound to come to your mind. This person did this, this and this. And here Sri Krishna, a person who has come to kill him. And yet, he sends her to her, his divine abode. Therefore, there is a verse in the Bhagavad Puran which is very important. Kamba dayalum sharanam brajema. 3 to 23. Can there be anybody so merciful? How can we not surrender to such a personality who is there ever ready to shower his love and grace upon us and for whom we do not, as I said, we don't need to get up at 2 o'clock in the night or Bade bade asan karne hai, ye karna hai, wo. no, 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 all he wants is your love, that's all. Swami so Vivekananda said that on behalf of what God would tell us human beings. He's saying to us, thy knowledge man I value not. I've read so much, I know so much, I've got big degrees. Thy knowledge man I value not. It is thy love I fear. It is thy love that shakes my throne. तुम्हारा प्यार मुझे हिला देता है ये मुझे प्यार करने लगा अनंत जन्म संसार से प्यार करने वाला आज मुझसे करने लगा तब तो कृपा का ढेर है सो इट इज आई लव आई फियर इट इज आई लव दैट शेक्स माय थ्रोन ब्रिंग्स गॉड टू ह्यूमन टियर फॉर लव बिहोल्ड द लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑल द फॉर्मलेस एवर फ्री is made to take the human form to play and live with thee. So we have loved everyone, everything, life after life, but whom we should have loved, whom we belong to, who is ever ready to give us that pure love. We have never done that. So it's understanding. This understanding is the most important thing in the gist of the scriptures and his binding by love. That's the only thing that binds him and that's why I told you many a times that that's why Sri Maharaji built Prem Mandir. It's a center of attraction in Vrindavan today and the very name is the greatest teaching for humankind that love is important. Love is important. Nothing else. So 
this uh, truth has been expressed again by Sri Maharaji in his composition as well on page number 38, 35. <laughs> The rope that binds the Supreme Lord is love. That's it. And we all know how to love. The only thing we have to do is rise in love and important, selfless. We do have a connection. We ask for material things. That's our business. We have a business relationship with them, no. We had that business relationship till now for countless times. Now we want only, only his love. That's what we are going to ask for, knowing that it is only love that binds them and it has been expressed through all what Sri Krishna did during his descent.